Hi everyone. I'm going to talk about cloth care this afternoon. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay. So there's this thing called PAR. You have to press, agitate, and rinse. Doing that all at the same time. After each time you use it. Apparently mom doesn't want to listen to me. <laughs> so do this after each time you use it. Okay. And then when you're done, hang it from the tag or drape it somewhere so air flows and it gets good dried. At the end of the day, because I use my counter cloth so often, I will do a gentle cleanse of this stuff, the dish soap. It's awesome. It smells so good. So how I make mine last longer, I fill, I found one of these for mom. I fill the water up to here right to here and then I put a tablespoon of this in mom has awesome water so a tablespoon is perfectly great amount you can see all the bubbles Woo! so you mix it together rub it together get it all nice and soapy especially if you use any chicken fat you want to get that chicken fat off your fibers right it's kind of gross so that's why you agitate you rub it together then you get it all nice and rinsed out. Wring it out, same thing. Drape it to dry and it's ready to go for the next day. So that is a gentle cleanse. Now at the end of the week, you're probably gonna want to wash everything. I wash my counter cloths once a week. So um, I will do like a gallon of water in the sink or in a bucket and I'll use a fourth a teaspoon of my up detergent put my cloths in it and I will do par in the water. Okay. And I will do that, that for like 10 minutes, not constantly. <laughs> I will let, I'll swirl them around every few minutes or so. So they're mimicking like the washing machine, but I will rub them together as they are in the bucket. Once that's done, I rinse them out one or two times and hang them to dry or throw them in the dryer. Usually I will put everything in the dryer because I like them nice and fluffy. So that is a weekly laundering. If you have a few cloths, you can do it that way. Now, if you have this and this is solely all you use, then throw your cloths in there with your regular laundry with this. So look at one of my previous posts about how much you need to use when you do laundry in the washing machine. Now, um, as time goes on, you're going to need to do a deep clean. Now, a deep clean, um, reason why, is because over time, these fibers have like fingers and they really hold on to the grime and dirt. That's why you need to do a cleanse after you use it and a weekly laundering, an evening like gentle cleanse like what I just explained. But over time, you will have some starting to get build up on these. So you need to do deep clean to release anything that has got stuck in the base of those little fingers on the fibers. So how to do that? You will have a wash bucket. That's what I use to do my deep cleans. Or I will fill my big sink in the kitchen with hot water, boiling water. I like boiling water because I use my utmost the time when I do a um, deep clean but we're gonna say wash bucket so I will do about a gallon gallon and a half of water and I will use two to three teaspoons of this to do a deep clean depending on how many cloths I'm doing for a deep clean and I will do par uh, not right at first because I use boiling water I will use a plastic spoon to stir them around like the witch's brew <laughs> So I will do that for the for like a full minute at first. So it kind of mimics the washing machine, just like a weekly laundering. Then I will just let them sit. And I will cut back to it like every five, 10 minutes and swirl them around until the water cools off just enough so I can stick my hands in it. I can tolerate pretty hot water because I, I just, it feels good on my, my fingers. So once that is done, um, oh, Leave them in the water to do a deep clean for at least a half an hour, no longer than 45 minutes. It's not necessary after that because you want to keep the water hot. But I'm not going to get into that. If you want to go, go to my VIP page and listen to my very long speech.
feel on how to take care of your class. Yeah, it's quite long. I'm trying to be really fast right now. And it's really, really hard. <laughs> okay, so once they've been in the water for like um, half an hour, 45 minutes, um, swirl them around some more, dump the water out, fill the water back up in the bucket and rinse them. So you're probably gonna need to do at least two to three rinses in the bucket to make sure they get, you know, the, all the detergent off them. Or you can throw them in the washing machine with the load that you have and have them go through a full cycle. If you don't wanna do that, just rinse them really, really well, throw them in the dryer or hang them to dry, whichever your preference is. Now, remember, you need to have, if you do not have up, or the microfiber booster, or the ter this dish detergent, then you need to make sure your detergent is filler-free, dye-free, fragrance-free, okay? That will give you the longest life out of your precious new family members. We need to treat them as though they're our family members that we love, right? Yes! So, no dyes, no fillers, no fragrance in your detergent for these, as natural as you possibly can get it, okay? because all that other stuff is not good for you and not good for the environment and it's not necessary. Um, let's see.